Miracle is known as the kingdom of beauty, so much so that just walking on the street is the way to meet beautiful women. Oh my god! Go on, pretty girls! <laughs> Sorry, are you alright? Fairy! <gasps> Sorry! Because you're so beautiful! <laughs> you are sweet! But if you don't get up quickly, you'll miss the chance to see the five most beautiful princesses of Miracle! To increase attachment to the masses, once a month, mm. the royal princesses will leave the palace to go to help people in difficult <laughs> circumstances. <laughs> Their arrival is always <laughs> warmly welcomed by the people. They even created a poll to see which princess was the most popular. At the top is the Princess Cancer, who has a friendly, gentle appearance. She was always kind to everyone, without distinction of classes. The difference is not too big in the number of votes, is the third princess, Virgo, the goddess of beauty. If only in terms of beauty alone, it would be hard for anyone to surpass her. Or for those who love fragility, softness, will definitely love Pisces. She's just too shy to show up as much as her sisters. There's not also a small number of people who love Scorpio's cold personality. In particular, not only men, but mostly women. You have to be more careful. So handsome! At the bottom of the list is the second princess, Leo. Mm. What was Leo doing in the room? Leo is beautiful, strong, and kind. It's just... Mm -hmm. Ah, huh? it exploded! <coughs> mm -hmm. huh? It's just that she keeps having something, well... <coughs> Weird? Huh? Father! Leo is the most motivated of the princesses. She spends most of her time studying and researching. Why are my efforts always unrecognized? I just want people to have a better life. Of course, the left hand is also the hand, the right hand is also the hand, the king loves all. My huh? king, Princess Leo was coming! Hmm? Leo! Hasn't she been eating seriously lately? But in the position not the first, not the last, not to make trouble, not to talk anything, Leo is often forgotten. <clears throat> well, uh, I have something important to tell you. <laughs> Prince Ares of neighboring country's envoy is coming to seek a marriage alliance. Among you, there will be a princess to be married off. Being married to a princess means renouncing your inheritance and not being able to return to your country. Besides, Ares, although a prince, is just a concubine's child. He's not respected by the others. So everyone can see that this is not a good position. Hey, you! Cancer! You are the eldest sister. Say something! I can listen to everything you say, father, but only my marriage? I've always wanted the true love of my life, not the political love of my life. Haven't you always wanted to get married and become a mother? The opportunity has come! Father, Leo said it! Let Leo go! She's a big girl! She always wanted to travel the world! This place was made for Leo! More! <laughs> <laughs> That's what a girl who dances all the time and dresses and dancing only thinks about it! <laughs> the real battle between the sisters broke out. Still strong, Scorpio squeezing in the middle, separating the two from each other. Get off me, you little girl! Fighting all the time because of silly things. Don't you see you are so childish? Hey, you are small but so rude. Just only know and fight like a man all day long. That's right, there is no such thing sweet and soft in her personality. So instead of just two people fighting, now we have the princess battle of three princesses. Actually, this is a normal thing at the breakfast of the royal family. Huh? Mm. Only you are always gentle and docile. Unfortunately, you were born always weak, constantly sick. Father, I'm okay. <coughs> Pisces' sickly cough stopped all huh? the princesses. Despite the disagreements, all the time huh? they argue, they still love each other very much. That's enough for today. Go back to your room and rest. That night, the king confided with the prime minister about his troubles. I know it was a difficult decision, but you yourself understand the danger of breaking the will of the empire. Don't you, my king? I know. 
But if I trade the happiness of the children I love most in the world... Huh? The conversation was overheard by Cancer outside. Not wanting her father to bother much more, she decided to sacrifice her own happiness. <laughs> they thought they would be happy because she was in trouble and escaped from the situation. But when they heard Cancer's decision, mm. the sisters were not happy at all. Huh? Deep in their hearts, they weren't ready for the noisy family to lose their eldest sister. Mm. Only a few days after the announcement of the engagement, the tragedy took place. The king passed away suddenly. The air of mourning filled the country. Mirko has no prince. The king has not decided on an heir. With this situation, I'm afraid. Trouble is going to happen. Huh? My kingdom, who has the first birth, huh? is the king. The soul of our beloved king would be comforted if my wedding with cancer took place quicker. But isn't that too hasty? Hmm. Hmm. Huh? No, you must believe me. Huh? Moreover, after you become queen, I will remain in miracle to be a bridegroom, and my father's side will surely help. Doubtful of this urgency, Leo secretly investigates and discovers that Ares is not as nice as he seems. Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> oh, look how I caught two little rabbits. You! How dare you betray my sister! For <laughs> sake, we're just talking about intimacy. If you like, you two can stay. We can all talk. <laughs> You've crossed the line! <laughs> With the help of the other two sisters, Leo and Virgo decide to expose the evil of Ares, preventing her sister from marrying. This was on the last day of breakfast, the day before the wedding. Father, if you were still here, tomorrow would be the day I get married. There will be no wedding! The four princesses told Cancer all about Ares' lies and evils, as well as the evidence they had gathered. But if so, war is going to happen. Even if you marry him, the war will still happen. Don't you want our father to rest in peace in heaven? When father is alive, he always wants all of us to be united and happy. The wedding was annulled, and Ares returned angry, vowing to lead the army back for revenge. It's not just a threat. The Empire used this pretext to assemble its army, preparing for the big war. To save the country for the first time in their lives, the five princesses unite and make the most of their strengths. Cancer, who had been good at everything, now took care of the army's food supply. Leo's intentions finally have the opportunity to make people admire when they become the most advanced weapons, increasing the strength of soldiers. Thanks to his haste in customs, Virgo can now lead a sewing team to work tirelessly day and night, very quickly solving the problem of weather-resistant clothing. <laughs> the younger princess Pisces was weak all day just reading books, timidly suddenly matured, forcefully wrote down plans and strategies in great detail. Even the Prime Minister nodded at her wisdom, as well as the strategy's potential for victory. However, such efforts are not enough to convince everyone. During the gathering of soldiers, the people expressed their doubts and distrust. Against the Empire? No way! Miracle was just a small country. Nothing we do can change the ending! That's right! After all, you are all weak and soft women! Huh? Their attitude was changed by a very decisive action. Mm, invaders is coming. Who cares about men and women? The future is unpredictable. If we easily give up before we start, we will not be able to do anything in this lifetime. At the same time, when the general who commanded the army this time was none other than Scorpio, the royal princess, the people were extremely emotional, sworn unanimously. With the cooperation and consensus of the whole country, even before that, the Miracle Army was considered inferior in both quantity and strategic combat ability, and yet they continued to win big victories. Step by step, they repelled the invaders. Scorpio triumphantly returned to the castle under the greeting of glory like an earthquake. Princesses, we have a big problem. The country cannot afford to prolong the state of non-ownership. Who would be most deserving of the top spot? 
Did the princess take care of food, weapons, clothing, strategy, or was she the one to find? Let Scorpio be the new queen. She has no fear of danger and went to the battlefield herself. No, without Pisces' great strategy, I wouldn't have made it back alive. I just say what the book says. You've worked all day and night to take care of food, weapons, and clothes that really contributed a lot. You're right. Let the people decide. All five princesses were crowned as queens. Besides, <laughs> the peace of the kingdom would not be possible without the efforts of everyone. With their personality and talents, they together helped the country become prosperous and better. Once upon a time, there was an era in which the demons had been really powerful. They were all around to harm people, and the people had to find ways to fight against them. At that time, the queen gave birth to cute twin princesses. The elder one named Adele, and the younger one named Adelia. Then, a fairy came and brought a prophecy that the two sisters would end the powerful era of the demons. She blessed them the power in an orb which created a shield to cover the palace. Before being able to fight against the demons, the princesses would never be allowed to get out of this shield. Hearing about the prophecy, the demons thought about all the ways to harm the two princesses. When they were 10, while they were playing in the garden, there was a strange rabbit appeared. Being really excited, Adelia immediately chased after the rabbit. Adelia, you are not allowed to go too far. Yes, I know it. Adelia, stop chasing it. You're going out of the protection shield. It's alright, I'll be back right after I catch it. As soon as Princess Adelia got out of the shield, a trail of black smoke suddenly rose and blew her away. Oh no, Adelia! <laughs> Losing Adelia, everyone was all so rueful. Adele told herself that she should be more powerful to get revenge for her sister. Time passed by, Adele became a brave and strong princess. She used the power that the fairy had blessed her to eliminate the demons and help everyone. Using too much power, Adele always came back with exhaustion. Suddenly, she saw a strange person which looked exactly like her in the room. My tiredness even causes illusion? Sister! Adelia, is that really you? Where have you been those years? Have the demons harmed anything to you? Everyone misses you so much, Adelia. Without replying to Adelia, <laughs> she suddenly knocked out her sister. Following the Demon King's word, she absorbed her sister's soul. Then she went to destroy the protection orb. At that time, the demons were all waiting outside. Why didn't you directly absorb the power of the two princesses, but you had to bring up the human's child? <laughs> you idiot. That power is against me. You want me to harm myself when absorbing it? Moreover, only human can pass that shield. I could only brainwash Adelia to make her do it for me. When everything is done, I can have not only the castle, but also another powerful weapon. <laughs> the shield immediately vanished. Then the demons rushed inside to attack. Huh? <gasps> they took huh? control of the castle and captured mm. all the humans. In the worst nightmare, they would never expect that the weapon they created to fight against me will <coughs> make me my powerful weapon. <laughs> That night, in her dream, Adelia heard someone call her name. Hmm. Hmm? Adelia! She saw Adele coming closer to her. Adelia, don't you remember anything? You are a princess. Hmm? Why do you help the demons? Your responsibility is to defeat them. 
The Demon King always said that human is really cunning. You are making me confused. To take my body, right? Don't ever dream about that! <laughs> Adelia immediately rushed there to attack Adele. With Adele's fighting experience against the demons for years, Adelia would never be able to defeat her sister. Adelia was quickly controlled by Adele. However, instead of finishing her, Adele suddenly held her tight. Thanks for the warm hug, Adelia remembered all of her childhood memories, which had been erased by the demons. Adele, what did I just do? I'm sorry! It's alright, my dear. It's good that you remembered all. We still can fix it. Together, we will defeat the demons and save everyone. Huh? Adelia woke up right after. Huh? Adelia, you can still hear me, right? I'll lend you my power. We will go find the Demon King together. Yes, together. We will end this powerful era of the demon. <laughs> Seeing Adelia came up with a new appearance, the Demon King felt a little bit strange. But he was being too triumphant. He didn't care much about that. <laughs> Adelia, it's late. Why don't you take a rest, but come here and find me? Is there anything? Demon King, stop acting! You made me a puppet inside your hand! What are you talking about? Were you got controlled by Adele, soul? You forgot my words. Human is really cunning. Stop making excuses. I remembered all the things. Today you will have to pay for what you did. <laughs> Immediately, she attacked the Demon King. The Demon King was really strong, and Adelia was hard-pressed. <laughs> Adelia, calm down. Huh? Don't let the anger control your mind. Just observe carefully to find his weakness. Following her sister's instruction, Adelia stopped attacking. She just dodged and focused on observing him while he was attacking. After a while, the Demon King finally exposed his weak spot. Adelia! No! With the power and intelligence of the two sisters, finally the Demon King was defeated. Losing their leaders, the demons quickly ran away and frightened. After being rescued, the king and the queen were really happy when seeing Adelia. But when they asked Adele, their mood was down. Adelia told them the whole story, since Adele's soul had been absorbed. Huh? I called her earlier, but she didn't reply. Maybe she gave this body to me. I'm sorry. It's all because of me. No, Adelia. This is not your fault. Just blame the demons for being too cunning. Right at that moment, the fairy godmother appeared. I got everything, but I couldn't intervene directly, so I could only keep her body. I can help separate her soul from your body, but it would be really painful. If my sister can come back, I can take it all! Alright, then I will start immediately. A while later, finally Adele's soul was separated and entered her body. Adele woke up in delight and happiness of everyone. Since then, they lived happily. The two princesses together went find and defeated the remnants of the demon to give people a peaceful life. Mr. Moon, I heard that you had met Mr. Sun yesterday. This was a really special event, right? Mm. Yes, that's a thrilling story. Do you want to hear? Yes, 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 yes. Tell us, tell, tell us. us, tell us. Mm. Mm. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful land of the fairies called Orla, which was ruled by the Gloria Fairy Queen and her husband. The queen was so barren that she prayed under the sky every day, hoping for a child to be born. 
God's helped her. After a long time of waiting, she finally gave birth to a twin princesses. The two princesses were really beautiful and bright. The elder one had the bright blonde hair like the sun, which carried the power of the light. She could control fire. And the younger one had the gentle hair like the moon, which carried the power of the dark night. She could control ice. Oh my cute little princesses, I will give you all the beautiful names. Look, the bright baby like the sun will be Helen, and the gentle baby like the moon will be Selena. I have another gift, which is really suitable for you all. How cute they are! Can I have the honor to be their foster mom? Of course! Then from now on, they have one more mother. The two little princesses lived happily in the love of everyone. They were really carefree, but they would never expect that a disaster were waiting for them out there. In Orla Fairyland, there was a dark fairy named Kedra with weird figure, half human, half snake, and the bat wings behind her back. She was always jealous with the Queen Gloria for her beauty, and because she was much loved by everyone. Therefore, she practiced dark magic to create weird monsters with the ambition of taking the throne from Queen Gloria, then ruling the fairyland. After getting everything done, Kendra brought the monsters to disturb the fairies. Destroy the fairyland, making everyone so frightened. Seeing that, Queen Gloria immediately went out to fight against the monsters to save her people. Together with her husband, they fought bravely. They finally could defeat her, making Kendra run away and frightened. Although the queen and her husband had a glorious winning, they were seriously injured. People tried their best to cure them, but they couldn't make it through. Mm. Maybe I have to go now. I can only believe in you, Sarah. Please take care of the kids, and also this kingdom for me. I believe you can do it. Yes, yes. I promise you that I will take care of them and this kingdom well. Have a nice sleep, my dear friend. We will meet again mm. at a place where there were no pain and full of light. Huh? From that moment, Helen and Selena grew up with the great care of their foster mother, Sarah. They loved her so much and considered her as their mother. From the day that they were just kids, Helen used to be an outgoing girl who loved to communicate with others. On the other hand, Selena was too shy and she barely spoke. That's why everyone was more comfortable when talking with Helen. And about Selena, with her shyness, she couldn't make friends with anyone. Why do everyone always surround Helen and ignore me like that? That's so unfair! Time passed by. The two little princesses turned 18, and Sarah held a lavish birthday party for both of them. At the party, people surrounded Helen. They talked and smiled with her, but no one remembered that Selena was also there. This made her self-pity and immediately leave the party. Selena just sadly wondered and thought, until she got lost into a dark forest. She was like being attracted by something. She went deeper and deeper into the forest and saw a woman with a weird figure, huh? half human, half snake, with the bat wings on her back. The woman was frightened huh? while seeing her. Don't be panicked. I have no bad huh? intentions. I won't harm you. Why do you hide here, deep inside this forest? The kingdom is celebrating a grand party today with the presence of everyone. Why don't you attend? I'm Kendra. I was born with a weird face, so everyone always stayed away from me. They even hit me and chased me away, so I had to hide here, in the middle of this forest. I know your feeling. Although I am the princess of this kingdom, everyone huh? also stays away from me. They all love my sister more. I totally understand that sad and lonely feeling. Princess, you are the daughter of our esteemed Queen Gloria? Yes! <sighs> so 
talking about the queen. It always makes me hurt. The poor queen was harmed by her own best friend. Best friend? You mean my foster mom, Sarah? Yes, it is her. She is the one who harmed the queen, then blamed me for this, making me live in shadow like this. No way! Don't say nonsense words! My mom, Sarah, would never do that bad thing! I know that you won't believe me, so I have this thing you need to see. To prove it, Kendra took out a globe and let her see the things inside a globe. After seeing the images inside a globe, Selena was so angry that she immediately went back to find Sarah. Sweetheart, where have you been? I've been searching for you. Don't pretend to love me. Say it. Is that you harm my mother? Huh? What are you talking about? Who told you this untrue story? <laughs> huh? Oh my god, Selena. Where did you get this story? My mom, Sarah, would never do that bad thing. You're on the same side! I saw all the evidences from Kedra! I will never believe your lies! I hate you! After unloading her anger, Selena quickly left, despite the intervention of her foster mother and her sister. The thing I worried about finally comes. Kedra is back. Maybe she's controlling Selena. I'm really worried for her. We need to find her, Helen. Sarah and Helen was searching for Selena everywhere but they could find her nowhere. So they had to go back to the palace and think about the way to save Selena. Since I was a kid, people have always stayed away from me. No one wanted to be my friend. Even my sister did the same. She chose to believe the wicked Sarah, huh? but not me. Maybe you are the one who understands me the most. Little princess, don't be sad. I will always be here, by your side. But you're supposed to sit here, watching them keep on doing evil things. We have to take revenge for Queen Gloria, as well as prove that you're stronger than your sister. You're right! I have to stand up and fight for the justice of my mother. The wicked one will have to pay the price. Talk the talk, walk the walk, together with Kendra, she went to the palace to fight against her foster mom and her sister. At that time, Sarah and Helen had to go out and fight. Sarah held off Kendra, and Helen had to fight against her sister, Selena. Selena, wake up! Don't let the wicked one fool you! You are the one who were fooled! Sarah has been tricking you so far! <laughs> the fight was really tense. Huh? Sarah got injured by Kendra's <laughs> coward attack. <laughs> Helen! Be careful! Try not to hurt your sister! Seeing her foster mother injured, Helen was really worried, even when Serena was crazily attacking. Helen still tried to rush there and held her hand tight. At that very moment, their necklaces shone and combined with each other. An aura covered Selena, breaking the dark magic on her body. <laughs> oh my god! Why am I here? What is this fight? You were tricked and controlled by Kedra. Fortunately, she is no longer able to control you anymore. We have to save Sarah immediately. Hearing what her sister told her, Selena was really regretful and angry with Kendra. Together, the two sisters fought against Kendra. Seeing that, Kendra rushed there to take Sarah as a hostage. Then the two sisters didn't dare to attack. Kendra immediately used her magic to attack them. When seeing their huh? princesses in danger, huh? the fairies rushed there to huh? cover. Then they all got injured and collapsed. While being worried for their mother, the two sisters came up with an idea. Selena threw ice rays to tie her leg. She couldn't escape. 
Helen controlled the fire to attack her hand, making her get off Sarah and Kane. The two sisters quickly rescued their mother, and together they defeated Kendra, making her vanish into dust. The fight ended. Selena and Helen rushed there to raise their mother up. Together, they casted a spell to cure their mother. Mom! Sister! I'm sorry for causing you many troubles just because of my selfishness. I thought that everyone had been so partial to Helen, so I was easily controlled by Kedra. That's all my fault! They won't blame you because you were too shy. Everyone was afraid that you would feel comfortable, so they avoided talking to you. But they all love you. Yes, sweetheart. I also want to be open with everyone. They all love you. <sighs> Selena followed their words. She was open and talked more to others. She also had more friends. Sarah also gave the kingdom back to the two sisters. Under the rule of the two queens, the fairies lived peacefully and happily forever after.